GPT, or Generative Pre-Trained Transformer, is a pretty popular topic nowadays. OpenAI chatbots have definitely made a huge outbreak. One of the best is GPT-3. However, OpenAI announced they'll also launch GPT-4. GPT is an artificial intelligence system that comprehends and produces text in human language. It incorporates an algorithm known as a transformer. This algorithm is built on a neural network. That is a class of software optimized to imitate how the human brain works. The transformer algorithm can analyze and interpret huge amounts of data. The knowledge is then used to generate text that sounds like human speech. Let's imagine a scenario where you ask a chat GPT about the weather. The response could go something like, Today's weather is sunny and warm, with a maximum of 75 degrees. This answer is given thanks to the large text data GPT has learned and is based on. GPT models have countless uses. You can even adjust them using unique data to produce even better outcomes. But the main question today is, how GPT-3 and GPT-4 work? How do GPT-3 and GPT-4 work? GPT-3 is a neural network machine learning model launched on the 11th of June 2020. It is built on using internet data and generates any kind of text. OpenAI invented it, and it only needs a tiny amount of text as input. With not so much input, GPT-3 produces huge amounts of precise and complex computer text. Over 175 billion machine learning parameters are included in the advanced learning neural network used in GPT-3. GPT-3 was the greatest neural network ever created as of early 2021. It is superior to all earlier models, such as GPT-1 and GPT-2. GPT-3 has 17.5 times more parameters in the neural network in contrast to the earlier developed chatbots. Also, the text is pretty much resemblant of how people express themselves. GPT-4 is not released yet, but it will be the most recent and advanced GPT model created by OpenAI. OpenAI will release this model with 170 trillion parameters, probably at the beginning of 2023. It is expected to be a large machine learning model in terms of operations that will also be developed on a huge quantity of data to produce language that matches the human one. The most significant difference between GPT-3 and GPT-4 is that GPT-4 will most probably be able to generate text from scratch. The GPT-3, which managed to reach the top of the list of the most commonly used natural language processing models, provoked OpenAI to decide to establish GPT-4. If you taught that the early mentioned 175 billion parameters in GPT-3 are the best that OpenAI can come up with, wait till you see how much GPT-4 is expected to have. GPT-4 will probably come with 170 trillion parameters, making it much bigger and more effective. It will be able to process and produce text even more accurately and fluently. But what exactly can these two chatbots do? As we said, GPT-3 is trained to produce authentic human text by using online text. It has been used to generate a significant quantity of high-quality content with only a tiny amount of input text. GPT-3 can generate articles, poems, stories, news reports, and conversations. Additionally, GPT-3 is being implemented for automatic conversational activities that answer any text that is typed into a computer. This GPT-3 chatbot is not limited to writing only human languages. It can write anything that has text structure. Probably the best part for those who don't have such knowledge on coding is that GPT-3 is also capable of automatically producing computer code. OpenAI decided that this is not everything their chatbot can do. GPT-3 can even generate written summaries. GPT-3 can also be defined as a language prediction model. It has a machine learning neural network model that can take text as input and convert it into outcome it thinks will be most helpful. This is achieved by teaching the system to recognize different patterns in the massive amount of information available on the internet. The system incorporates a text predictor that produces the most probable reply after analyzing the user's text input, as we already explained. The GPT-3 model creates valuable output text that feels comparable to what people would write. What we find surprising is that this is possible even without much further adjustment or training. But enough of GPT-3's work, at least for now. One of the main advantages you will enjoy from GPT-4 is its possibility to recognize and produce a variety of natural language text. Similar to GPT-3, GPT-4 will be able to understand both formal and our everyday casual language. In contrast to GPT-3, it is believed that GPT-4 will be more flexible. 
As a result of being so flexible, it could easily be applied to a variety of tasks, more than GPT-3 can cover, including question answering, text analysis, and language translation. Because GPT-3 can also learn from a variety of data sources, it can be adapted for particular activities and domains, making it extremely versatile and customizable. Some of the tasks GPT-4 will help you with are the creation of images and videos. However, there are many more. It looks like we can't go further without mentioning the transformer mechanic again. The transformer mechanic has been proven to be efficient for various computer learning tasks that only make GPT-4 better. From what we've seen so far, we are more than sure that GPT-4 will have an even bigger impact than GPT-3 on all industries. What can GPT-3 and GPT-4 be used for? So far, we've covered general stuff about GPT-3 and GPT-4. We also mentioned some tasks that can be easily done due to these chatbots. Of course, there are many others. GPT-3 has a broad range of uses because of its text creation capabilities. GPT-3 is used to generate creative writing that imitates even the writing styles of Shakespeare, Edgar Allan Poe, and other well-known authors. Besides this, GPT-3 can help you with blog posts, marketing copy, and even literature. GPT-3 can write functional code that can be launched without mistakes with just a few snippets of example code text. You must wonder how this is possible, but you need to understand that programming code is nothing more than a type of text. It is just optimized for computers. An interesting example of using the GPT-3 is when one developer has merged the UI prototyping software Figma with GPT-3 to enable the creation of web pages with only a little amount of recommended text. Even website clones have been created with GPT-3 by using a URL as a recommended text. GPT-3 is broadly used among developers. They create code snippets, regular expressions, plots, and charts from text descriptions, Excel functions, and other software applications. GPT-3 is also used to generate realistic chat dialogue, quizzes, pictures, and other graphics from text inputs. It may also produce comic strips, recipes, and memes. Now let's go back again to GPT-4. The first way you could use GPT-4 as soon as it is developed is as a text generator. Consider it like this. There are about 2 billion active users on Instagram each month. Producing relatable content that is customized to their target audience is practically hard. Did we mention that GPT-4 can generate text from scratch? Personalization is no longer just a nice to have in your marketing. It's 2023. Consumers will definitely expect it. Marketers may now use the text generator to build GPT-4 to quickly generate text options that are targeted to other target markets. Compared to GPT-3, the text will be translated much easier. This could be helpful for businesses whose target customers come from many different countries and speak other languages. The second essential use of GPT-4 will be for the content idea generation. What if you could simply enter a question and get a grammatically sound response, as opposed to hours of reading through social media information and inspiration? The consumption of content is only going up in 2023, while concentration is only going down People are often unable to keep up with the most recent news and changing algorithms. It is getting more and more challenging to locate trustworthy sources of that information. So GPT-4 looks like it will be a great solution. Another great usage of GPT-4 will be as a chatbot and for customer service. GPT-4 is expected to provide individualized solutions to client needs or answer frequently asked questions. On some days, it seems like everything comes so easily, while on other days, it can take hours to finish a single task. That's the tricky part about owning a business. However, GPT-4 will respond to customer support questions in no time. This is something GPT-3 lacks. Increasing page traffic and engagement is crucial. Sponsored posts and boosted articles are becoming essential components of digital marketing. What if you had the benefit of being able to adapt your website copy, blog entries, and captions to make them more appealing to the algorithm? That's what GPT-4 will also help you with. Writing captivating content will be easy as beans with GPT-4. So far, we can definitely say that GPT-4 will have a wider range of use. GPT-3 and GPT-4 Business Optimization It is not weird at all that chatbots may give organizations the ability to grow various aspects of their operations. Businesses have been able to fulfill these operations efficiently and quickly thanks to the chatbot's capacity to automate activities in a variety of industries. They help the sales, marketing, and customer service sectors. This artificial intelligence also has an impact on training new employees. 
GPT-3 and other NLP technologies aid the managing of negotiation, several verbal languages, and various sales strategies. It's nonsense to argue that chatbots have a significant influence on all kinds of businesses nowadays. Chatbots are the channel that has grown the fastest. GPT-3 has had 92% rise in use for branch interactions since 2020. The GPT-3.5 language system is implemented with a large artificial intelligence model developed by OpenAI. Also, 67% of consumers globally have engaged with a chatbot in the last 12 months. GPT-3 can potentially replace people after it was shown to be able to write college-level essays and construct complex Python code. 41.3% of consumers currently use interactive marketing methods to make purchases. This resulted in a 17.1% rise since 2020. GPT-4 will be developed to be an improved technology of GPT-3. GPT-4 will use unique parameters to produce the finest hyperparameters for optimal models. As a result of the optimal parameterization, the GPT-4 performance looks like it will be quite better. The training tokens directly impact the model's effectiveness. The expansion of parameters is just as crucial as the computing of models. It takes less time to train GPT-4 than GPT-3. As a result, losses of the business are lowered. GPT-4 will require around 5 trillion more training tokens than GPT-3. Probably one of the most important differences is that GPT-4 is expected to operate more safely than GPT-3. It will enhance the security of your firm and software. GPT-3 isn't the safest model, so we hope GPT-4 will be. It will also generate more accurate and human-like languages than GPT-3. GPT-4 will have a decreased amount of typos that reveal that the information or copy was produced using AI. Less supervision, cheaper labor expenses, and more employee time are all perks of higher precision. There will always be biases when you are working with artificial intelligence that relies on human input, but the application of AI models such as GPT-4 could indeed assist in minimizing them. GPT-4 will probably progress by minimizing biases and improving its evaluation of human values. So far, it looks like GPT-4 will surpass the impact of GPT-3. Risks of using GPT-3 and GPT-4 All chatbots have potential risks. GPT-3 has few concerns that come with using it. The main problem is that GPT-3 is not always improving. It lacks an uninterrupted long-term memory that learns and memorizes from every interaction. GPT-3 faces the same issues that are a threat to all other neural network-based platforms. It is often unable to interpret and express why certain inputs lead to particular outputs. The GPT-3 transformer architecture has problems with this restricted input size. You can't input a large amount of text for the output, which can restrict some operations. The input text length limit for GPT-3 is a few phrases. GPT-3 also experiences slow inference times. This AI chatbot displays a variety of biases common in machine learning. Since the model was developed using text from the internet, it mirrors many of the flaws that people use while writing. One of the biggest risks of the threat of fake news, some people are beginning to worry that GPT-3 can easily produce them because of the advanced way the text is written in. More or less, GPT-4 should also come with the same risks, and expected flaws that GPT-4 can't reject data. Even if there is some false info, it will treat it as real and integrate it into your text. There is a chance that the content will contain false information. There will always be individuals who tend to misuse new technologies. GPT-4's possibilities could be used to produce fake news reports and pass them off as true. Technologies like GPT-4 will probably make it extremely easy for individuals to produce more clickbait to get visitors. Clickbait can occasionally direct visitors to computer malware, risking security and safety. Due to being so powerful, it is pretty much expected for GPT-4 to produce big amounts of spam. GPT-4 will only boost the process of transmitting spam. It is expected to increase the likelihood that spam will reach users' inboxes and be clicked on. Both chatbots offer benefits for your website's growth. However, it is speculated that GPT-4 will have 170 trillion parameters compared to GPT-3's 175 billion parameters, making it considerably bigger and more powerful. GPT-4 could process and produce text more accurately and fluently. Compared to GPT-3, GPT-4 will be more accurate. It will come with a reduced failure rate and can handle more tasks. It will be able to create text entirely from scratch, whereas GPT-3 can only do it based on previously written text. 
So if you are looking for the best option for your website, you should wait a bit for the GPT-4 release.